And welcome back, everyone, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. Today, I got a lot to go over. It's been, I took the weekend off and relaxed a little bit and uh, wasn't feeling so great, but I'm back into it. There's lots to talk about. A lot of things that I've been touching on lately are kind of coming to the top of the list. Not that I'm trying to be right or proven right or anything like that. I'm just pulling a lot of information together, but it's, and it's interesting to see that other people are starting to see the same things that I've been seeing. So let's start. Let me share my screen. There we go. So we're going to start with Economic Ninja, who I love listening to. And a couple of videos I'm going to touch on that he mentioned, and I'll go further than that. So first up, Economic Ninja. If you're not following him, you should be. And uh, he's he's great to work with. I'm looking forward to working with him again soon. Uh, probably crossing paths with him soon as well. Um, I think I'll be crossing paths with him at the Litecoin Summit in October in Las Vegas. Uh, if you don't know about that, you should definitely check it out. But back to the matter at hand. So he started, he did a couple of videos and the first one was a panic over an energy crisis. And he's got a good story in there. And I'll tie this all into crypto and the dollar at the end, but it does all tie together. So first off, we have a panic over energy crisis because everybody is trying to get energy and energy prices are going up, up and up. And with the sanctions to Russia and everything that's going on, Europe is struggling right now. They can't get the energy they need. The Russia has basically shut off a pipeline. And now all these other countries in the BRICS nations, which I've been talking about, that's Brazil, Russia, India, China, South, South Africa, and there's five more that want to join. They're all they're all controlling a good portion of the economy already and already looking for ways to not use the dollar system. And I'll talk about that in a minute, too. But the first thing is energy. energy everybody needs energy to produce, to live, whatever. Um, and it's it's getting to be a struggle. There's been reliance the last few years on on Russian on, on Russian sources, Russian uh, nat natural gas, coal, uh, oil, whatever. And with sanctions, they can't get it. So now there's a big issue of who's going to be getting this oil, or who's going to be getting this energy, and how, how the countries that need the energy are going to be sustaining, especially as they try to go to a greener solution for better or worse. And they just can't get the energy. So there's an energy crisis coming along, and, and Ninja talked about that. And he talked about how that's leading to the, the, the BRICS nations working in a different system and the death, eventually the death of the dollar. So the second video uh, that he did, China and Russia just did the unthinkable. This one was about that the China has basically formed a coalition that, that with Russia to, to launch a new world global standard financial instrument other than the dollar. So that's pretty important to note, obviously. And then lastly, cash-strapped Americans can't afford to pay their phone bills. It's another video that's coming out. So this is basically a sign of the times that people are hurting. People can't make ends meet. We've all heard, you know, with the gas prices being higher, food prices being higher, issues, 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 in inflation going up, in interest rates going up. People can't pay their bills. They're having a lot more difficulty making ends meet, especially with the job market the way that it is. Um, it's seems like there's jobs but then again people are still having issues and there have been some companies especially in real estate and uh i know like crypto has been doing i know other banks have been doing lots of people are laying people off so all these things tied together about the economy and there's gonna be more economic news coming out this week with another cpi release or actually the fed this is this week so they'll probably raise rates like three quarters to a full point so adjust my camera there okay so all right so it looks good all right so so within the, within this story about China and Russia, well, I I went further because Ninja mentioned this story, so I dug into this one, and this is a story uh, that was uh, put out on someone's Substack. Uh, quote quote the Raven, give him full credit. He's been talking about this as well for a while, talking about the BRICS nations and the death of the dollar. So China and Russia are taking their shot at the dollar. Um, he's been writing about it for a while. <clears throat> what may surprise some people, however, is that Russia and the BRICS countries, the five I mentioned, are officially working on their new global reserve currency. RT reported in late June. Now, RT is the Russian news industry uh, news source, and a lot of the Western world is not giving that any uh, attention. So, again, nobody seemed to notice, but this is what they're not telling you. So, the information is what, and what not, they're not telling you. So, the issue of creating an international reserve currency based on a basket of currencies of our countries is being worked out, said Putin. So at the at the BRICS forum last month, where they met in June, and of of course Russia has been cut off from the SWIFT system. That's the uh, system of worldwide international financial telecommunication. It's basically a glorified messaging system to tell you you've got money, and it's just a, a notification system, the banking system that uh, like uh, mostly dollar backed central bank. Uh, nations use. 
So now China and Russia and India and Brazil and South Africa are looking for ways around it, as well as several other countries looking to get around it as well. So they're looking for an alternative solution. So that's that's coming online soon. And then trade between Russia and the BRICS countries increased by 38 percent and reached 45 billion dollars in the first three months. Of the year. Excuse me, the first three months of the year. That's a Q1 number. So, and also Russia's crude sales to China have hit record numbers, basically seeing Russia's exporting to China for oil, edging out Saudi Arabia's Chinese primary oil supplier. So now Saudi Arabia is also looking to join BRICS. So now you would have the number one and number two supplier of oil to China as part of BRICS. That's important. And you can see how they're moving away from the dollar and they're moving it towards uh, this alternate global financial system. And, and, Russia is returning to the gold standard that was put out by the same substack in, in May. And we talked about that earlier in this channel, how they tied the ruble to the, the, the gold standard. I think it was 50 to 60 bucks per gram at the time. But it, it's 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 a buyer of the last resort. They are, they're all tied to the, the, the dollar, or not the dollar, excuse me, the tie back to gold. So it's a gold-backed ruble and ruble and the digital one and now with a rupee, everything's tying back to one central currency, uh, which is not going to be the dollar. So going forward here, and again, my camera keeps slipping. Thank you so much, camera. You're doing great today. All right. <clears throat> now, so here's another story. BRICS developing new global reserve currency from Putin. This is from June. Again, this is the RT article that was linked in there. Uh, another... An, they're working on a basket of currencies. Now, that's been talked about before as the SDR, um, but that's was more of a NATO type issue with the dollar and the and the euro. And let's see, it was the dollar, the euro, the yen, the yuan, and the and the British pound. Those are the five. So now look for the uh, look for the yuan to pull back because they're gonna go towards BRICS. And the, the SDR may not be the answer, it may be a different basket of currencies. There could be very well two different um solutions throughout the world that people are working with so it's going to be very interesting just like laying out my camera today uh i'll have to tighten that bolt somehow there we go anyway all right i got a few more articles to wrap wrap up here then i'll come back and tie it all together so russia this is also in the article russia's china gas pipeline will begin construction in 2024 uh so that's going to be interesting as well uh, another channel this, this is John Williams, not the same John Williams who does shadow stats, but I don't think it is. But he did a good uh, talking about the death of the dollar. That's him right there. Uh, and here's that same article. So I went and found that article. So that's what I do. I find these videos, I find the articles, and I pull it all together. So a pipeline bringing gas from Russia to China will break ground in 2024. Uh, it's a Siberia 2 pipeline, which replaces Siberia 1. Uh, get, will allow gas to flow through to China uh, through Mongolia. And the European Union signed a new gas deal with Azerbaijan. So uh, Russia's gas exports to China have been ramping up since 2019. And strengthening flows pivotal to Moscow, pivotal, oh, easy for me to say, pivotal to Moscow as Europe moves further away from reliance on its supplies. So you have Russia and China working uh, with Saudi, Saudi Arabia, getting all their oil and getting their energy needs supplied. And Europe is being left out in the cold, literally trying to figure out how they're going to solve this. So this it, it was the earlier power Siberia pipeline. So remember, this is a power Siberia two pipeline. The previous power Siberia pipeline was previously a pivotal source of flows to Europe. They love that pivotal source. Uh, but the Siberian fields now direct gas to China. So now you had you had power of Siberia one, which was flowing oil to Europe. Now it's going to China. And now they're going to build a power Siberia two. Interesting. And then the final thing, this is the last video I'm going to share. This this is from an uneducated economist, Simon. He does a great job. Just just talks it and tells it how it is. He really just puts his own thoughts together. Talks a lot about the Kent, uh, Kentian effect uh, or Kentillion effect in the anglicized version. About whoever gets the money first gets the most benefit. Uh, there's no fixing the economy. So let me drop out of sharing my screen. Make sure my camera looks okay. And it seems to. And I, well, no, it doesn't. There we go. There we go. All right. That'll work for now. So just talking to the camera and wrapping up my video for today, the economy is doomed. Uh, the, the present version of the economy is not going to work out because what happens as the uneducated economist, and you need to check out all these videos for sure if you want to know more. But what he basically says is that, you know, the United States used to be a big manufacturer and we used to sell everything to the rest of the world, which is great. 
but then we got a little bit complacent and we got a little too rich and too big for our britches and we started to buy all these luxuries and people produce less and when you started to produce less we started outsourcing things to the rest of the world then we didn't become a manufacturer and then all we made was dollars in debt so we financed our luxuries by selling dollars selling debt to them on a global stage and we push people to the dollar through the petrodollar so it all goes back to energy so now if people are finding different ways to get their energy as they sort that out they certainly don't want the dollar because there's no paying off the debt the, the world is f far too indebted to the united states and they're basically going to wash their hands of the, of the debt and what's going to happen is that all the dollars are going to come back to the united states or as many as possible or they may just walk away from the debt but regardless the fact that all the dollars not are not going to be demanded on the global stage to pay us back anymore through buying treasuries or paying off loans whatever like you saw like people weren't even paying their phone bills now so then we see other countries avoiding the dollar so the only ones that are going to be using the dollar are pretty much are going to be the united states which means there's going to be a ton of dollars stuck in the united states which means the price of everything will go up and there's no way out of it because no one's going to be buying our debt no we can't finance the future anymore so we either start getting off our butts and manufacturing and building for ourselves and taking care of our own, become truly nationalized like we were four or five years ago, or we start manufacturing things or both. Um, but so there, and the discrepancy between the haves and the have nots, it just gets wider and wider for the last 50 years because of inflation, because of the petrodollar, because of the financing, because we stopped manufacturing, all those reasons. So what do you do? Uh, this is where crypto comes back in the situation the only way to work this and that what's going to happen is that they're going to try and finance as much debt as possible they're going to be pushing dollars into the americans hands through universal basic income or ubi um air uh, helicopter money airdrops um that what they call stimulus checks whatever they, loans whatever but the problem is that the only ones that buying is the government so the government's going to try and print their way out of this the modern monetary theory uh or the um the Keynesian method of economics rather than Austrian method, it's not going to work. So what can you do? Well, work as hard as you can do, you know, take care of as much as you can control yourself. And as you accumulate that work, you know, get it, get as much income as you can take that income and buy assets that are going to hold value in a long time. That's, and that's why you're going to see a light, a flight to precious metals and a flight to cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and other strong cryptocurrencies. Because those are the ones that are going to stand the test of inflation and the crumbling of the dollar. And that's the only way to preserve your wealth. And as one of Ninja's videos, he said that someone bought like a, she was going to buy up to a billion dollars of precious metals in gold and silver. Because historically speaking, that's the when this gets too risky in the financial market, they run to precious metals. And that's been money for 5,000 years. So. BRICS is coming. That's why I talk a lot about BRICS. And that's like, it's evidence that the dollar is dying and people are going around the system. When the system is broken, you either get rid of it or the, you go around it. And that's what's happening in parallel right now with the dollar based, petro bit, petro dollar based economy. It's just coming to an end. And if you can read the tea leaves, you can see all the, all the signs. I call it, I call it the vulture theory. You see one or two vultures. You don't necessarily think that there might be a dead, dead animal nearby but if you see a hundred vultures circling you pretty much know without having to see that there's a dead deer in the woods there's probably something dead probably a deer in the woods well we're seeing the BRICS nation circling we're seeing people avoid the dollar we're seeing people not being able to pay their bills that tells you all I mean, Occam's razor simplest answer is usually the right one the dollar is dying people are going away uh, going to, to get around it and that's what they're doing so a lot said today I got lots of things coming up on the horizon this week. I want to get a video out today. It's a very busy Monday, but I want to get this video out to you guys. I'll be obviously out at the normal time. Um, there'll be an AMA this week, I think. I think it's the last week of July, so it's probably a Patreon. I'll probably do it like 8 o'clock-ish on, on the East Coast time on Wednesday. Uh, it's for my patrons at the $20 level. And again, if you join at the uh, at, for a year, you get 10% off, so it's like 18 bucks a month. So... You can you can ask me whatever question during that hour you like, and of course, if you can't make it, you can always leave a question in on the comments for the, the Patreon thread that for that day. So, <sighs> lots going on. I'm staying on top of it as best I can. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree that the BRICS nations are they do they have the right um, path forward? Is how fast is the dollar going to die? Do we really care what the next inflation hike is going to be? Is it just you know moving? 
deck chairs around the Titanic as it sinks. Who knows? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share all that cool stuff. I support the channel. All the stuff is taken across, so I don't have to keep saying it. But a lot said today. I'm going to close the door on the Bureau, say follow leader one more time, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Yeah.